Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to Alchemical Architecture. How's it going, everyone? Uh, let's actually pick this up. Nope, there we go. Um, let's put it away. There we go. How is everyone doing? Let's. Uh, we don't need to heal. We do need to replenish hunger. Oh, I love that wand. That is like the best thing ever. We've got a spell book. Okay. Um, How's it going? How is everyone doing? I was just charging up my soul stone. Look at that, 15,000 MRU. Uh, looking very lovely. Oh, and it is, it is night time. It is night time. Let us, let us sleep quickly. How's everyone doing? Hope you're all having a grand old day. Um, last episode, we started with Essential Craft and it is now over here. And what I wanted to do is uh, well, yeah, just get some more MRU. You can see I've got some here, and I've got some in the radiating chamber as well. Um, but I'm so I I I put two bound gems, as you can see, uh, to this matrix deconstructor, and I don't know if both of these are going to fill up. That is ah, but that isn't okay. So maybe let's let this one fill up a little bit. Um, I got what? How much was it? 15,000. Oh, this can only do 5,000. Okay, so we can totally fill this up. That is rather excellent. Yeah, look at... Oh, yeah, we can fill up both of these bad boys. That is... Well, that is actually really rather good. Um, Blaze apparently generate quite a lot of the MRU stuff. And um, what I was going to do is... Oh, and I can hear a zomble. Where are you? There you are. Let's let it just die. Just by looking at it, brilliant. We are awesome. Also, we are, we are getting to the point where I feel like I am fairly magical. I mean, I, I know I can fly. I'm not wearing any armor still. Uh, I've got a magic wand, and I can I can do loads of cool things like you know just just teleport places, which is which is very cool. Um, I I love all of that stuff. It's great. Um. But anyway, anyway, what what I thought we would or should do is, um, that's not that's not what I wanted. Heat? Oh, is it just a heat heat generator? So what this does, it it generates MRU from heat basically. So I thought that would be a good thing to do, so that we don't have to keep killing mobs. Um, but I needed, I think I needed some heat to begin with, so. Oh wow, uh, Eye of Absorption and a lot of magical ingots as you can see and you get these by putting iron uh, and it takes, it takes, there you go, 22 seconds, I thought that was 25 but it's 2 sec, uh, for 50. So this is what I wanted to do basically and make one of these heat generators. That is, that is still being, um, if, I wonder if I take that in, is that now going to fill you up? I don't know, I feel like... Oh, um, wait, I don't understand what's gone on. Oh, was it fifth? Was it 1500? <gasps> Not 15,000. This is, I, I clearly misread that, didn't I then? Okay, well, that is a bit gutting, so <laughs> I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to kill some more Blaze to get some more MRU to fill up. Although this is the magician table, which is what we needed. Let's start. Let's get some iron. Um, iron. Oh, do I, uh, I probably have more in my um, in my chest. Let's put you in there then. There. Oh, look at that. There we go. And we're getting some magical ingots. Okay, grand. Uh, so we do need one of these. Elemental core is one of those. We can easily do that. Magical display. Oh, magical water, which is again that. Okay. Uh, demonic plate or magical plate four and fortified plate. Okay, we can do that and a conversion matrix Which is that and another one of these calls. Okay, so all of this is rather doable um, And yeah, oh yeah, look at that that has actually taken a lot of MRU and yeah, I so I think clearly heat generated for MRU would be a much better thing because I don't want to have to keep killing killing things basically and um, that is a little bit dull do we have a um bottle B bottle we do we do we have that where is there it is let's just do this quickly 
see how long this takes. Hopefully not too bad. Oh, ooh, that is a lot. That takes a lot more by the looks of it. A lot more MRU just to make one of these. A magical flask, is it? What was it called? Magical water. Of course it is. Um, of course it is. So we have we have that. We have some of this. Ah, so I don't know what that is. Mithraline dust. I do not know. Mithraline. Okay, I don't know if I've seen any of that. Um, Mithraline furnace. Ooh. Very exciting. I don't, I don't know what any of that is. Um, so I'm going to work on getting this heating generator and just go through this little crafting process. It shouldn't take me too long, but clearly I need to kill some more blaze. And uh, then, yeah, we'll be back and hopefully have a better way to generate some MIU. Right, I am quite close. There we go. I needed that. And then what else do I need? Uh, how do we make that? Put that in a magician table. Okay. Okay. No, it's in there, is it? Oh, is it? Yeah, there it. There it is. Magician frame. So what do we need? Four of those. Well, let's see. And then I think we need to go back to here. There we go. Wait for the magical plate. Ah. So we need four. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, right. I'm. I'm. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Um, you one, two, three, four, and one of you. There we go. And that should be the last thing that we need. And I've um, I remembered now why we did have 15,000 in there, but you only get 10% of the energy trapped in the soul stone, which is a bit rubbish. Um, so that is basically why I ran out of MRU very quickly then. Uh, so I think, I think I should. Oh, what am I, <laughs> what am I missing? Oh, one of those. Am I, have I really not? There we go. There we go. Bam, bam, uh, bam. There we go. Heat generator. Right. Let's shove you down there. There we go. So, 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 so. Let's grab us some coal. I don't know why that keeps saying M there. Um, I'm a bit confused. Oh, do I not have any coal anywhere? Have I not? Have I just been? Oh, I might have just completely ignored coal. Um. Oh, magical slag. Okay. Uh, I don't know. That says frozen. I don't know what's going on. Do we have to take that out? That seems to say it's working, but nothing's happening. <laughs> Why is nothing happening? Please, something happen. I and that does say frozen, which doesn't look good, does it? Um. Oh, oh no, okay, there, there it is. It, something is happening. I wonder if we can put liquids in here. I do not know. But, um, I want to see this go down, and then hopefully that goes up, but this is, like, really slow. Like, painfully slow. Um, and it would be nice to maybe upgrade this a little bit more. I know there's, like, magical hoppers. Some of these look really cool. Like, the magical replanter. That looks pretty nice, but this device once... Supplied with redstone signal, we'll try to plant all items and blocks nearby as they were crops on the blocks below them. We'll work with things like seeds, reeds, cacti. We'll not place the blocks if placement conditions are not met. So stuff like that is pretty nice. Magical breeder, item breaker, ma ma magical item shuffler. Love it. Um, magical chests. I mean, so a lot. Of, uh, that looks pretty good. I wonder if this would work with a simple storage network. Like, things like that um, would be quite grand to have, and it would be nice to upgrade this as well. Has this happened? This has gone up, but none of this has worked. Huh. So it's amazing what you do, what you can learn when you actually read the manual, isn't it? So this should basically give us 16 MRUs per tick or something. Uh, so let's try that. So you can also put netherrack in these locations or fire, but this is the most. Chaos. There you go. 16 MRU per tick. And do we also have to do that as well? Yes, there we go. There we go. So you also have to put coal in as well. There we go. Now we're, now we're literally cooking. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. And you can see that's the structure. So that helps, doesn't it? Um, so, a balancer, 
an MRU holding block. You can increase the amount of MRU the structure can store by adding this block anywhere in the structure. Each block increases the storage by, uh, wow, 100,000. Um, oh, that was go back. I didn't mean to do that. Holding block. Um, MRU gems. Okay. Dark soul matter. Wow. Uh, right. I don't really... Right. This is now the thing. I need to... Redstone transmitter. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Redstone, uh, wireless redstone. That's quite nice. Um, acceptor. Ah, you need a way to make MOU go inside your. They keep going on about structures, but I don't know what structure we need to be building. Enrichment chamber, redstone controller, balancer. Um, and I don't know. Maybe this, this, um, the mover, MOU moving wand. Does is this like a thing that we can now? That, I mean, that does something for a second, but I don't know, like, what it does. <laughs> like, I don't know now how to move all of this 10,000 MRU into these things that we have here. That would, that's the next thing that I need to figure out. So, I've been a little bit silly uh, in what I've been up to, and that is basically that I forgot about the bound gems, didn't I? So, I've bound that gem to that heat generator, and you can see, bam! We have no problems now, and that should replenish as well, basically, um, as, you know, as that is still generating uh, MRUs because we've still got coal in there. So all is well. We don't need to make any other fancy machines to do anything. Um, and let's just stop that for the moment. What we should also be able to do is this, and upgrade our research book to contain engineers. Very exciting. That's how we that's how we get that. So oh, okay. Legend of the Ender Star. The forgotten knowledge comes into play. Am, uh, MRU engineering. Oh, look at this. So this looks quite fun. What is that? Solar energy absorption. Um by applying some solar rays to that MRU metal through magnifying glass. I don't know what it does though. Solar prism. Ooh. 500 MRU per tick. That is a lot of MRU. Okay, so... And then the sun ray absorber. All right, okay, fine. That just looks quite cool. Magnetizing staff. Your resistance only makes my magnet stronger. Spawner collector. Ah, look at that. So we've got another, another way of getting that. Ooh, 5,000 MRU to grab one spawner. I think the old... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> our, our movable chest um, thing is a little bit better, but uh, Staff of Life. Ah, Area of Effect Bone Meal. That is exciting. So, a few of these. Biome Wand. So, I'm guessing we can re Oh, yeah, change biomes. Okay, so this is the good stuff. This is the good stuff, people. We're at some, like, magical stuff. <gasps> magical Digger. This item serves as an alternative to pretty much any tool. It can break anything... Pretty efficient, it uses 9 MRU per block broken, it's supplied with MRU, and the holder is not sneaking upon breaking a block, it will break all the same blocks, okay, even without MRU present, but it will, oh, hang on, hang on, there's no recipe, oh, there's no recipe, so some of these things don't look to be here, like, look, holy mace, oh, hang on, a lot of these don't seem to be here, oh dear, Mag hang on, let's have a look, so, pushes up, Ooh, yeah, let's have a look and see, I know some of these things, magical wings. Yeah, there we go. Ah, there we go. So we can. We can find it. Let's have a look at this digger thing. Uh, oh, hey. Hey. That was a bit weird. Digger. Magical digger. Yes. Oh, there we go. So there is. there are ways of doing this. The earthen focus. Earth elemental fuel. Ooh, I don't know how we get any of this. Rarity. Exceptional. Uh-oh. Rare. Earth essence. Uncommon. And common, but I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea how we would get that. Well, okay. So let me emerald heart. Half your life upon eating. Okay. Let me have a look at some of these stuff. Ooh, magical repairer, Tesla coil. Let me have a look through the stuff. I'm just getting very distracted by the possibilities of all of these things. Right. I've looked at a few things, and this is the next one that we'll need to do. We'll also need a crystal controller. Which means that we need two more of these. 
uh, no, wrong bit, magical essence, which you get from merging a redstone and blaze in a the radiating chamber. But what this does, or should do at the very least, um, I don't really know where to put any of this stuff. Ooh, look at that. No bound gem yet. Uh, none of this stuff. Ah, okay, right. So, so, uh, Essential Craft has these charms. Look at that. All of these charms. Charms of fire, water, earth, rain, all of these things. And a lot of them can do really cool things. So fire will obviously give you immunity to fire and and so forth. But in order to make these, you can see we require a few things. Red soul matter, magical golden ingot. A lot of that is pretty easily made, except the fiery focus. And all of these have like a focus, basically. And as you can see, gold, iron, and then this fire elemental fuel. And you, to make that, you need this. And we just saw that then, but there's no way of getting that. And this is where the crystal former comes in. So obviously this needs MRU. Uh, and then we need to put a diamond, some buckets, and some glass there, I believe. So let's have a look-see. We, we need one diamond. We need some glass. Uh, I think two glass. And then we need three buckets of water. So let's just go get that. Where is there it is? One, two, three. Thank you very much. One, yeah, there we go. That. And then, oh, you and you. Okay, great. So that is working. That is doing its thing. Um, oh, man, that is slow going. Um,. So basically, this will make some sort of crystal that we will then need to grow by placing it, from what I can tell, from placing it in the real world. 30 minutes to in real time to grow one crystal to 100%. But here lies the problem. Those elder crystals were created instantly, just be, uh, stuff, stuff, stuff. Uh, your crystals can actually be broken even with an empty hand and they will drop and you can place them anywhere you want. Second of all, because of all that growing process, your crystals are not so much affected by element. I mean, this is all very confusing. You have discovered a way to control the growth of those crystals and that is in a crystal controller. So that's the next thing that we will need to make, possibly before we even... Uh, how is this doing, by the way? 23. Okay, we're we're okay. What I would like to do is just make maybe any of these um, today. And there's also, we can basically, like our, um, like like blood magic and, um, and evil craft, you can actually have like one of these gems uh, that carries MRU in your inventory and as a bauble as well. So... We can basically, for things that need MIU in our hot bar and our, you know, our general inventory, we can use those to supply the MIU. So that's how that works. So I, I sort of figured that out. Um, but yeah, I just need to make this crystal former. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this crystal former, and then we're going to try and grow these crystals somehow and see if this works. So I've got a crystal controller along with a former, and you can see now. And this took a while, so this completely emptied this, and then it took another, like, five minutes of this producing uh, MRU to get to the stage where the glass is gone, there's no water, and the diamond has gone. And you can see the elemental crystal is here, so... <laughs> That's so weird. Let's put that in there. And I'm hoping that this is now doing something. It does say working... Yes, it is, it, like, it is doing something. Okay, I'm hoping that that turns into something. This is all very new to me. I feel like it should, um, but I, I don't know. Now, the next thing, there is, in fact, another block, a crystal extractor. So I'm guessing we'll need this as well in order to finish off the thing. And by the way, I'm I've, I'm working on the same pound gem. I just keep moving it around to whatever um, whatever item I need. So that's what I'm. <laughs> it's just so weird that that isn't. I'm working on an invisible thing right now, but I'm hoping that that is doing well. It's clearly doing something because it's using MRU. If I take this out, um, or at least it was. Huh. Maybe it's not anymore. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. It's all a little bit confusing. 
Uh, I'm going to see. I'm going to work on the crystal extractor, and I suppose I'll I'll find out what it's doing if anything. So I did that thing where I read the manual again, and that helps. Uh, it's it's sometimes hard to pass what is being said, but it helps. So I've, I took it out of here and put it down here. And what this does, it basically sort of gives you some like stats, and you can put some elemental affinity to try to direct it, basically. But I don't I don't know how exactly. Um, I don't exactly understand how that works. Um, I don't know. I'd like. I don't know if we can put fire. That would be interesting if we could. Um, let's let's do that. Do I have? Uh, yes, I do. I have some flint. Let's get some iron. I'm interested to see if we maybe if we maybe put some fire next to this. To see if that would work, um, let's just add a few little bits here. Right, there we go. So let's put some flames there and see if that actually changes. I don't know. I don't know if it's actual like Minecraft elements. I feel like it's probably essential craft elements. You can see the size is getting bigger, but it's not. It's not helping us with any of oh hey any element by the looks of it. So that is rather useless. I, I don't oh, I don't understand then how to do that. Right, okay. So if you crystal hand grown, you can start extracting essences. So oh yeah, and I've I've got this here, the crystal extractor now. Um that is a thing that has been done. So I'm guessing and this takes like 30 in like real life minutes. So I've got I've got to wait around for 30 real life minutes uh, for this to do something basically, for this to grow to a point where I can put it in here and maybe get elements, basically, is is what I need to do. So what I will do with my time, um, I'm guessing, is let's make, let's make another, I've not got a lot of diamonds, clearly, maybe we just make another two and have done with it. Uh, have I got any glass? Glass. Yes, I do. One, two, three, four. There we go. And the buckets are still here. There we go. So I may as well, we need to put the uh, that one in here, I think. There we go. And we may as well make another one and basically see, see what happens. See if we, if we can get this to work properly, basically. Um, so you there, one, two, like that. One, two, three. And you can see this. Oh. Uh oh, there it is. How weird. Have I got the wrong one? No, no, I haven't. There you go. So that should be working. This is working. What is this percentage? Nine percent. <sighs> good times, good times. But um and it's weird that it just basically says nine percent. So I don't know how to affect this basically, other than I presume if you have like other actual crystals, maybe you can affect the crystal that you have. But uh, it, this seems like a very slow process, I've got to say, in order to get some charms, which in other Minecraft mods are a lot simpler. But, um, you know, it's something different, It's uh, and it's definitely still within the magical realm, um, but it feel, this feels a bit more techy, which is fine, I'm totally okay with. So, I'm yeah, the episode is getting a bit long now, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait my 30 minutes and see what happens. Right, I've got one uh, fully grown crystal, and you can see these two are growing. So the next thing, the extractor, again, you put it, from what I'm aware, yeah, there we go. You put it down next to that. Oh, and this needs, this needs some energy. Let's give it some. There we go. Wow, that takes a lot of energy to do all of this. Wow, I did not think it would take that much. Some nice like particle effects going on, obviously not good for the frames, but uh, I like those especially. I mean, they're sort of like the enchanting table, and obviously this is like enderpearl stuff. So, okay, so apparently now I'm going to have to <laughs> wait for this to happen. Um, so that that is what we are going to be doing. I probably need to get some more coal as well. We are back and I've made some discoveries. So, the crystal extractor works thusly. You just whack the crystal down 
and it does its thing. It works for a while, and basically it outputs different essences. Uh, I don't know how long this will last, a crystal. I have no idea. But what I do know is that f what this is what it looks like. If there's an essence in here, it will stop working. So you need to output them. And as soon as I started outputting them, everything became a lot better. And for some reason, we've only got water and fire at the moment. But um, I know maybe that's what this crystal is good for. I don't know. I don't know. But this is working, as you can see. So... Um, what I've also discovered is that you need, obviously, they've got different like rarity, uncommon, common, rare, and we've got an exceptional water essence. But these correlate to how many um, of the fuel you get. So the less good the essence, the less fuel you get. So for instance, I think the common uh, four fire essence will only get you one fire fuel. So that's just something to consider. Um, so, 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 let us, I've got four, I can't remember what they're called, uncommon, there we go, four fire and elemental fuels, now we need, to, oh, uh, oh, don't tell me I don't have any gold, ooh, we got some gold here, that's okay, we're okay, we're okay, so, bam, 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 there we go, let's chuck you in, so we need two of these, bam, like that, Excellent. What we also need is, I believe, four of these. And these are made with quartz, and you just keep putting them in the magician table. And a diamond. That should do a thing. That sh we should have enough. It's 250 um, MRU, and it only takes 12 seconds. Not too bad. So there we go. We could obviously set up more of the... There you go. And we get a red soul matter. Now, obviously, this... For instance, we could put this in our bauble slot, which is oh, quite interesting, and that's how you provide MRU um, in your inventory. I mentioned that earlier, but um, we want to make, uh, we wish to make, there we go, a charm of fire. Boom! Charm of fire, we've got, we have got, now it is empty, and I have now no idea how <laughs> we charge this this is the only thing i do not know can we can we put it in here i mean we can but it doesn't charge it so that could be <laughs> that could be something that i need to figure out yeah i i have no idea how to charge this other than to make another um oh man bound no what gem? Are they called gems? No, man. Um, soul. Let's have a look at that. Aha, aha, aha. Soul sphere. Okay. So, crystals and an emerald. Do we have an emerald? Um. Oh yes, we do. Yes, we do. Let's get some more quartz. Quartz. One, two, three, four. There we go. Let's shove you in like that, so we get that pretty quick. And which one is that? We need the crystal. Crystal, that's the shard. Put that in again. This is how you make these. Please give us the shard. Oh, no, the crystal, that's the one that we want, isn't it? Yes, ha ha ha. Excellent. And we might just have enough MRU in here. Although then... And I say this, I still don't know how to transfer this into a thing. I don't know. <laughs> oh, we're gonna we're gonna need more. We're gonna need more. I need to take you out for a second. Let's shove you in there. There we go. That will do. Bam, bam. You back in there. Uh, how many? Do we have anything more? Uh, yeah, we've got another uncommon fire essence. So you know, this is a thing. Slowly, slowly, catch your monkey. There we go. We've got a soul sphere now. Now, I believe we're still going to have the issue of I don't know how to... <laughs> I don't... I don't know how... I want... We can't... I don't think so, because it's not... It's not like a... A thing. No. That, wouldn't that have been amazing? Um, but it's not like a, a damage value, so... 
Um, we might have to figure this out next episode because this has been like one of the longest episodes so far. I've, I've quite enjoyed um, messing around more with Essential Craft. Hopefully by next episode I'll, I will have chargers. I'll figure out how to charge it and uh, we can maybe move on to something else. There's still a few magic mods that we haven't even looked at yet and of course there's the all ever looming Thorncraft that we need to get more into. So thank you so much for watching and bearing with me in this video. It's been a long one. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a like or comment, it's very much appreciated. And the subscribing thing is as well. I've been Exed. This has been Alchemical Architecture. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.